Welcome to the world of sports with Lucy, diving right into this segment, Fury on Wilder. In a stunning battle that showed both fighters flawed on multiple occasions, Fury finished stronger to put Wilder down with a powerful right hook at the T-Mobile Arena. During the interview after the fight, Fury was thanking God for his win against Wilder. And that didn't end there. He also called Wilder his second best, knowing fully well that Wilder has no love for him because according to him, he went over to meet Wilder to greet him, but he did not respond. I mean, you just beat a guy up and you went to greet him. How would he answer your greetings? After answering and thanking the people, he ended the interview with his song. Now that's how you end a good fight. Next stop, Joshua triggers Usyk for a rematch. Anthony Joshua has triggered a clause for his rematch with Usyk, which will take place in spring of 2022. As you know, British heavyweight champion Joshua lost his IBF, WBA and WBO belts to Usyk at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium last month. Now, Usyk has already spoken of his wish to return to the native Ukraine for a rematch with Joshua. In the world of transfers, Chelsea considers Sevilla Jules Conde as replacement for defender Antonio Rodiga. Chelsea has faced to force through the purchase of Sevilla Central's defender Jules Conde with the 22-year-old French international remaining in Spain after the summer transfer window. As it is, Chelsea could lose four defenders for nothing at the end of the season, so may return to Sevilla's Jules Conde to strengthen their defence. Still on transfer news, Man City is hoping for Haaland boost. Manchester City is hoping their Puma sponsorship and a looming boot deal can help land Borussia Dortmund star Erling Haaland, according to the Daily Star. Haaland has been linked with Manchester City, Manchester United, Real Madrid, Bayern Munich, PSG, Liverpool, Barcelona and Juventus. Man City kits are manufactured by Puma and Haaland is reportedly poised to sign a boot deal with the German giant. More on sports, Real Madrid should be punished, says PSG Sporting Director. Sporting director of PSG Leonardo has said that he's furious at Real Madrid because of their continuous pursuit of French striker Kylian Mbappe. PSG has said no to 220 million euros bid for Mbappe earlier this year. At Madrid, they are denying it, but I think that Real Madrid has been trying to sign Mbappe as a free agent for a while. They have been talking publicly about Mbappe for two years. That should be punished. I see it as disrespectful towards Mbappe. He's just not another player. He's one of the best players in the world. Leonardo told Gazeta Delo Sport. Furthermore on sports, Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo in the Ballon d'Or contention again. Six-time winner Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, a five-time victor, were among the 30 names revealed for the Ballon d'Or award. The favorites face competition that includes Kylian Mbappe, Neymar, Karim Benzema and N'Golo Kante, who are also considered as leading runners in the list unveiled by France Football Magazine. However, Messi has confirmed that he intends to vote for PSG teammates Kylian Mbappe and Neymar for the Ballon d'Or. Finally on sports, matches to look forward to on the 16th and 17th of October 2021. Leicester City vs Manchester United, Brentford vs Chelsea, Newcastle vs Tottenham and Watford vs Liverpool. That's all I have for you on the world of sports. Do not forget to like, share and click that subscribe button below. Thank you.